wonderful people, it's Wild here. Today I'll be showing you how to build this adorable strawberry house. This sweet take on a cottage is perfect for any fairy core or cottage core world or anywhere where you want something a little bit fun and it's surprisingly simple to create. The materials you'll need for this build are on your screen now. Here is the outline for today's build. You can see there's a rectangle for the house which is 5 wide and 9 long and then a little star shape marking where the strawberry starts. Keep in mind that the strawberry does balloon out from here. We're going to begin our house with some strip spruce logs putting in some posts in the corners. These are 4 high and I've got them in each of the corners of the build like this and then centered along the 9 wide wall. That way we have 2 gaps of 3 on either side. Once I've got these four in, then I'll come forward on each of the posts, facing outwards this way. And then we have a gable on this section here, so I'll come forward here as well. I can then connect up all of my points like this. I'm not going to connect over the front of this gable or in front or the back. Here's how it should look from the front and from above. Now we'll begin filling in the walls, and for this we'll be using red concrete powder. For these two sections here, we're going to be having a one high window centered in the wall. We'll also be having a one high window here. But we'll then continue up the wall, and then have a little window in the gable like this. We'll fill in this side of the wall completely. And at the back, we'll have a similar design to what we've got here. And then at the front, we want to have room for a door. I'm going to start by building too high with my red concrete. I'll place my birch door from the inside on this grass block here. And then I can build over the top. Once again, I'm having a window in the gable like this. Now we're going to begin work on the strawberry. Now this can be a little bit complicated because the strawberry is going to smush into the shape of the house and that's what adds to the character of this build. But we will be working in layers to simplify the process. So you want to start by building a little X shape like this. And here's where we're going to start smushing it into the side of the house. So we're going to be following along the diagonal like this. leaving out the block that's connecting to the wall. Once again, when we build the next layer, we'll just leave out the blocks that are connecting up to the wall there. You can see I'm just following the outline for this next layer. And here's how it should look from above so far. For this next layer, I'll start by placing one up like this and then come forward, then two across and two across the other way and you can see how the pattern continues around the build. So if you're not sure if you're creating it correctly, you can check the other sides and you can see how it cuts off as it joins to the build. Now at this layer, I'm also going to use some slabs to fill in my floor. Now if you'd like, you can add a little ladder or stairway to get into this lower section and it's a great place to put all your storage. But this is a perfect height in the build that maximizes the floor space in the strawberry and it also lines up perfectly with this beam which will make it convenient for putting in a ladder later. For this next layer, I'll come one to either side building up from this center block here and I'll do this on each of the faces of the strawberry. And then I'll just connect on the diagonal like this. When it comes to this corner here, we're going to start building on top of these spruce blocks to connect it up to where the roof will be. For the next layer, I'm also going to add in some red stained glass at the side and at the back for some windows. Then I'll build straight on top of all of the red we've already got. And also connect the corners here, here, and then come in over the roof here and here. Here's how it should look from above. For our next layer, I'll fill in the window here and add another window on this side at the front. Then I'll come to either side of each window. 
and build five across the back. Then I'll simply fill in the corners. We're at the stage here where we can also build five across the back, oh sorry, five across the side over the top of our house. This is also the level that we're going to add in a little mezzanine floor within our strawberry. So I'm going to build out three from the back wall so it lines up with this window. And I'll leave this gap free for a ladder. For our next layup, we'll add another block to the window at the front, add a small window at the back and to the right hand side, and then we'll just build straight on top of all the other red blocks. You can see we've come up for our strawberry and now we're going to start coming in. And to do that, we'll build three across the top of each of these sides. I'll then build a little corner shape on top of each of the diagonal blocks. And we're going to be coming in a lot more rapidly than we did as we were coming up and that'll help create the strawberry shape. For the final two layers of the red part of the strawberry, we'll begin by building five across this section here. You can see we've come one in from this wall. And then fill in the corners. And for the final layer, we'll just fill in the remaining hole in the top with the red concrete. So that's our basic strawberry shape. Now we need to add the details and the leaves. Getting the placement of the leaves right is very important for the overall look of the strawberry. We want them to feel random, but not too chaotic. Our leaves created with green terracotta and we're gonna start at this layer here, adding in just a few blocks of green. Just like this. For the next layer, I'm gonna create a shape which is quite organic and connects up to the green that we've already placed. And it's also going to lead us on to the leaves that we're going to be adding next. So you can see it looks like this. For our leaves coming out of this, I'll start at the back and build out three on top of this block here. Then I'll come to the block beside it and create an L shape coming up on the diagonal. Then I'll come forward with a leaf like this on this side, I have a leaf with an L corner and then coming back and up. I have one diagonally on the corner like this. And then finally one in the center. Now if your leaves don't look exactly like this, that's alright. Each strawberry is of course different. But you want to try and get this balance where it is kind of sporadic and organic but doesn't look too all over the place. And you want to be able to see a few leaves from each of the faces of your strawberry. So make sure you have a look from different angles. Before we get working on the roof as well as the details that are really bring this build to life, it's a good idea to work on your floor as well as the key interior de uh, details. So I'm adding a ladder coming up the side here. Then I'm going to use some placeholder blocks to place in four spruce trapdoors for some railing and you can see I've extended it to cover this red block here. Then coming into the shape of the strawberry, I've got a ladder coming up here to connect to the mezzanine. And once again, I'm going to use some dirt to place in some more trapdoors for the railing. Alright, now let's get started on this roof. For our roofing, we'll be using dark oak stairs and slabs and we'll work on the gables first. I'm going to come up the height to the point like this, finishing with a slab in the center. And then I'll place some dark oak stairs on the underneath side to finish it off like that. I'll also come one more forward. And when I reach the top of this point here, I'll then make a little flick like this. Adding this to the top of the roof line is a really great way to add some interest to your roofs. I'm going to create the same design on the back cable. 
Like how we had to make some adjustments to our strawberries to fit into the build, we're going to need to make some adjustments to our roof line since our strawberry is here. So I'm going to add my stairs that go underneath as much as I can until it connects to the strawberry and I'll place my slab on the top here. And once again I'm coming forward with some more stairs and I can then imagine where the stairs would come from on this side of the build. So I've got one in the corner here coming up. And once again, I'll finish off with a stair and an upside down stair for that little detail. Here's how it should look connecting to the strawberry. The last gable we have to do is this one here for the little window box on the side of the roof. Now for this, I'm just going to start on top of the spruce logs, not beside it. And I'm going to create the same style of gable with the uh, stairs coming underneath to create a finished look. I'll then just create my flick straight on top of these stairs, just like that. Now to continue on the rest of our roofing, I'll connect up these stairs across here and then I'm going to begin wrapping them around making sure I connect up to this gable. Next I'll come in with my dark oak slabs connecting up to the strawberry. And don't forget about this side. You'll need to make sure you connect all the way to the farthest you can on the strawberry here. Just like that. Next we're going to be using some spruce blocks to add some decoration to these posts. Starting with some spruce trapdoors at the bottom. Then place some spruce fences underneath each of these like this. And now we want to create little archways over the top of each door and window. So over the top of the door where we have our gable, as well as at the back and the side, we're going to place two stairs like this, and then a slab, and then I'll place slabs underneath each of these stairs. I'll also place slabs underneath the, uh, the roofing blocks here above each of the other windows. And of course I can only place one here because we've got the strawberry on this side. I also want to add a pop of bright colour with some birch buttons which I'm going to place in each of these logs as well as above the door. And I'll also place them above each of our windows as well. These birch buttons will also come in handy in creating some seeds in our strawberry. Now the trick to this is to try and space them evenly and yet randomly. This is all about just taking a step back and breaking and replacing any of the buttons until you're happy with them. Once again, it's important to look at this from all of the different sides. Make sure you're looking from the corners as well, where the two sides meet. Next I want to come in with some coarse dirt and some dark oak trapdoors to create some plant block boxes underneath each window. I'm using red tulips here. You can choose whatever flower you'd like, but I like to accentuate the red of the strawberry with some red flowers. I also love how the dark oak trapdoors kind of look like chocolate blocks, and who doesn't love chocolate and strawberries?
I'll also add a lantern hanging underneath each gable. Now for this smaller gable, you'll need to hang your lantern on a chain as there is a stair here. And this is starting to look really good. Alrighty, there we go. You can see I've added some decorations around our strawberry house now and has really brought it to life. I've used some beetroots here and I've planted them around the house as they kind of look like strawberries. And I've incorporated some of the same chocolate block texture in the dark oak trapdoors as well, as well in some of the furniture. I've tried to keep to a pretty neutral color palette with greens, reds, browns and whites and that really plays off the colors in the build. For some more ideas on how to decorate this house, check out the tutorial in the description down below. I hope you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing if you did and check out my Patreon to support me more. See you in another video!